Hello everyone, my name is Amir Hussein Apostkuhi and in this video I will introduce our new model for machine translation called Pitch. This is a joint work with Ani Reza and Sara and our professors at the University of Tehran, Professor Yadullah Yaqubzadeh and Professor Azadeh Shakiri. The title of the work is Pre-Training Sequence Sequence Multilingual Models for Translation with Semi-Supervised Pseudo-Parallel Document Generation. Usually, for generating a machine translation model, the fine-tuning pre-training approach is used. In that approach, a pre-trained language model like BERT is fine-tuned with human-translated parallel data to fine-tune a model to reach the machine translation models. However, some issues may arise in here. One of them is the need to fine-tune a separate model in order to translate between two other languages. Another issue that was shown by Tran et al. 2020 is the lack of parallel data that shows itself in low-resource languages. Also, in MLM-based objectives for sequence-to-sequence -sequence models, you, uh, we should know that they usually ask the model to uh, generate an output in the same language as input. To solve the issue with MLM-based objectives and the need to fine-tune a separate model for translate between two other languages, a new approach called multilingual pre-training is introduced. There are different approaches for this, but what we introduce in here is LAMPE, uh, LAMPE's approach in 2019. Uh, they introduce a new objective called TLM, which stands for Translation Language Modeling, which is like MLM or Mass Language Modeling, but they specify the language embedding for each token to show that uh, the token should be um, predicted in which language. Also, they sh uh, show that the position embedding should start from zero in the output sentence, and by that, the model is uh, trained with the encoder-decoder approach in here. Uh, and th this is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model for a multilingual uh, translation. So these models can solve the issue with the MLM objective and the need for to uh, the need for training a new model for translation between two new languages. But uh, to solve the issue. Uh, of the human annotation, dictionaries can be an approach as it was used in Duan et al. to uh, learn the bilingual word embeddings. But are the dictionaries enough? As we know, the dictionary just give us the mapping between one language to the other language. However, we are losing the information on the language structure and grammar rules. So to solve this issue, um, and the pitch is introduced. Pitch is a new sequence to sequence multilingual transformer model trained with SPDG, which stands for the semi supervised pseudo parallel data document generation method. Pitch has two sections. One of them is word by word translation, which is exactly using bilingual dictionaries to uh, reach the output sentence, which is a mapping of the input uh, sentence that we have. Also, we have the noisy model, which solves the issues with the word-by-word -word translation and also knows the structure of the output uh, language. And by this, we can generate high-quality um, output sentences. In word-by-word -word translation, we map sentences from one language to another using dictionaries. Uh, we use CANU uh, 2017 dictionaries in here. So first, we tokenize our input with NLTK and then we use dictionaries to generate tokens in the output language. We should mention that the punctuations and numbers are not translated. Also, we should know that uh, we did not translate punctuations and numbers, but in uh, um, languages like Persian that the punctuations and the numbers are in different um, uh, characters, um, you should have a mapping for this, but uh, again, they are not translated. Another issue that uh, may arise in here is uh, what we are doing with named entities in the word-by-word -word translation. Uh, as we cannot uh, translate named entities, we can find them using spacey small models for named entity recognition for each language. And then after extracting the named entities, we can transliterate them, for example, with polyglot libraries to um, find a new um, word for them in the output language which sounds like 
the word in the uh, input language and um, we can put them instead of the translation for them that words a, a question may arise in here which is what happens to words without any translation in the dictionary as i mentioned previously uh, the noising model is uh, created to solve these kind of issues although it knows the structure and the grammar of the output language it solves the issues with the word by word translation with the word by word translation cannot solve them by its own in the denoising we have four objectives one of them is word addition other one is word deletion and the others are random substitution and shuffling this is like what happens in eda data augmentation random substitution is used instead of substitution with synonyms because we are doing random substitution to solve the issue for uh, wrongly translated words if we just use uh, synonym substitution, uh, the quality of the final sentence may not change because we are just using the same uh, kind of uh, word for the wrongly translated word. Word addition is um, there because we need to add translation for the words that are not translated. Also, word deletion uh, is to remove the words that are not necessary uh, to be translated in the output language. And shuffling is for uh, keeping the structure of the output sentence in the right order. So, by using these uh, objectives, we, which uh, we can um, the uh, pre-train a model for each language with uh, monolingual corpora to learn the structure of each language and then uh, increase the quality of our word by word translation now that we have a parallel data which is generated by word by word translation and then um, making it better with um, the noising model we can uh, pre-train our multilingual model which is called pitch wherein that we create a sequence to sequence transformer model and then using spdg we uh, generate our parallel data and uh, which the output um, data can be in more than one language because of that we are calling it multilingual and then train the uh, sequence to sequence model that we had it is worth it to mention that our model pitch uh, and the other presented denoising models are all based on Transformer uh, Vasawani et al. 2017 encoder decoder architecture with a 12 layer encoder and a 12 year de uh, layer uh, decoder with uh, 768 hidden state and uh, 30 72 feet forward filter size and 12 self attention heads. So if and we look at the pitch that we discussed earlier, we can see that. First, by using um, mo monolingual corpora in a language like German and doing the objectives that we had like word addition, word deletion, word replacement and shuffling, uh, we can uh, train a denoising model that knows the structure of uh, the final la uh, language like what we have in here and uh, German and then uh, from the input uh, sentence that we have which is in English and then using word by word translation and reaching the word by word translated uh, sequence and then passing that to the denoising model we can have a parallel data which can be used for training a mo uh, multilingual model called pitch now we can talk about the experiments that we have done to show uh, the um, result uh, the power of pitch in comparison to other models it's worth it to mention that we compare our models not with the mt5 and mbot models due to uh, the resource constraints but we compare them with uh, mlm objective and mlm with reordering objective which are for mt5 and mbot uh, models and pitch is pre-trained on English, French, and German with the CC100 corpora. Also, we used uh, 550 million words for each text, which uh, in total for three languages is nearly uh, uh, one and a half uh, billion of words. Also, uh, 
the pre-training batch says is 96 with a maximum of 512 input and output tokens and we train it for 500,000 steps on Google Cloud TPUs. Uh, one of the experiments that we have done is on supervised translation. We compare pitch with MLM, MLM with reordering and transformer without any objective. As we can see here, pitch outperforms MLM, MLM with reordering and transformer models uh, in different languages on WMT14 and WMT19 with a great difference that can be seen in here. Also, in one of the other experiments, we compare uh, using uh, more than one language as output uh, sentence. If we train our model on three languages with uh, 200,000 uh, steps, we can see that uh, Peach uses more information to reach better results. So, um, we can see that the multilinguality is a good point for pitch model and uses different knowledge of different languages to learn more. And we will uh, discuss this in other experiments in the later slides. Also, we have done some, uh, some experiments on zero and few shot translation. Results of fine tuning pitch with five uh, 50,000 samples of WMT14 English French dataset for 0 to 50,000 steps in its comparison with MLM and MLM with reordering objectives shows that Peach outperforms the fully trained MLM models after only 25,000 fine tuning steps in zero and few shot translation. As it can be seen in here, that in different languages, Peach outperforms other models in the zero shot setting on WMT14. And these results also shows uh, that the model our model um, learns better in comparison to other models like MLM and LMLM uh, with reordering with the sample count of 50,000 uh, after uh, 25,000 steps. Also, as I mentioned previously, we have done some experiments to show the cross-lingual transfer knowledge for translation. Uh, in these experiments, we fine-tuned our model on um, different languages and then evaluated on other languages to see whether it, it can uh, transfer the knowledge between different languages. And the results of experiments on cross-lingual knowledge transfer uh, shows that pitch transfer knowledge very well between different languages uh, that we have experimented or where uh, they were um, English, French, and German. To show the power of our model for cross-lingual uh, transfer knowledge, uh, we tested in on um, NLI uh, or natural language inference uh, benchmarks as well. Uh, although we know that our model is for uh, machine translation, uh, we expect Peach's ability to transfer knowledge between languages uh, uh, is suitable for uh, other cross-lingual scenarios as well. To test this hypothesis, we evaluate pitch on the XNLI benchmark. We fine-tune our model for 50,000 steps with a batch size of 256, a learning rate of 0.001, and a maximum output length of 16 on the uh, multi-LNI um, English dataset and apply it to the XNLI benchmark. Uh, the results are shown in here, and based on that, we can see that P uh, Peach outperforms other models in transferring knowledge from English to German and French. Considering our pre-training objective in which we ask the model to generate pseudo-translation for each pair of pre-training languages, we believe this objective helps Peach to transfer the knowledge about the English dataset to other languages better than other pre-trained models. Finally, thank you for listening to my presentation for our new work on machine translation, our new model called Peach, uh, which is a multilingual machine translation. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to contact us uh, via these emails. Uh, also, you can uh, read our full paper with the address provided in here or see our uh, implementation on GitHub. Uh, you can use these links in here or the QR codes. Uh, thank you and have a nice day.